Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So husband took baby on a walk and I finally have some time, like some peace and quiet time, <laughs> to film this video for you. This was actually one of the most requested videos. I asked you guys over on Instagram what baby related videos you wanted to see. And a handful of you guys said clothes or clothing organization or like a tour of Lincoln's dresser and closet. So that's what we're going to do. If you haven't seen my nursery tour video, his room is basically exactly the same. We haven't really changed anything. I'm going to try not to make this video too wobbly because I don't want you guys to like... <laughs> get motion sickness. So we're going to start with the dresser and basically I have all of his clothes, his current sized clothes in this dresser. There are a few hang up items. I hang up his jackets, certain shirts like polo shirts and like jumpsuits or overalls. I hang those up but everything else goes in his dresser right here. And then on top of his dresser I have a couple of little shelves that have his hats hanging on them and then some of his current shoes up here. Uh, we have more than that in his current size. He's wearing a pair right now. And then there's a couple in the drawers that you'll see. So let's go ahead and get started with the drawers. So we have, this is from Ikea by the way. It's the Hemnes, I think is what it's called. We really like it. We actually have three of these dressers in our house. They're a pain to put together. They take like multiple hours even when you have two people doing it. I'll link it down below for you guys, but Here's our first drawer. These dividers are also from Ikea, so I'll find it all and link it all down below for you. So this is his sock, shoe, and swimsuit drawer. So there's his current sized socks. We have swimsuits in this little pocket right here. He has three swimsuits in his current size. And then here's the extra shoes that we have right here. So these are all in his current size. And then this is actually some beanies that, again, it's kind of out of season for beanies, but we have them and they're way back there. So that's the first drawer. This drawer is my favorite drawer. I love organizing it. I love folding it. <laughs> I love making it look pretty. This is his bib drawer. He is a huge drooler. These are all from Copper Pearl. And I love to organize them and color code them and be that crazy bib lady. It's like my favorite part of doing laundry. There's some seasonal bibs back here. So those are like the holiday bibs and stuff that just don't kind of, they don't go with the current season. And then this is an empty one right here. I forget what we had in that before, but it's empty right now. So that's those two top drawers. These two drawers are diaper related. So this drawer has backup wipes, some diaper cream, stuff like that, Q-tips, all that good stuff is in this drawer. And then this is just diapers right here. So those are the top two drawers. This drawer, I have onesies and t-shirts in. He's currently wearing size 24 months. He can fit in 2T stuff and he can also still kind of fit in 18 month size stuff. So because of that, I have 18 months here and 24 months here. Um, I have a couple of 2T things kind of sporadically thrown amongst the drawers that you'll see, but I haven't really pulled out 2T stuff yet, but he does fit. I mean, 24 months and 2T are very, very similar sizes. The difference is 24 months is usually a little bit wider, so it allows for room for a diaper. 2T is just like slightly longer and a little bit skinnier. Actually, by the time this video goes up, I will probably pull out the 2T stuff and put away the 18 month stuff, but this is what it looks like for now. Um, so I have t-shirts here in the middle. Another thing with 2T is they don't have onesies. And what I mean by onesies are bodysuits. So all of these have like the snaps at the bottom here. I could tell husband put this away because I would never put stuff away like that. He always just kind of like throws things in here. 2T doesn't have snaps. So I'm gonna have to figure out like a different kind of organization for them, which is why I'm kind of dragging my feet on it. 18 months over here, 24 months over here. And then I have long sleeve, short sleeve, short sleeve, long sleeve. Below that is our pants and shorts drawer. So same thing, I have 18 months over here, 24 months over here. And then in the little container, I have rompers. Another thing, 2T doesn't have rompers. They have overalls, but they don't have rompers. So that's another thing where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to figure out my organization again. 18 months, these are all pants and those are shorts right there. And then over here, those are pants. These are all shorts. Over here, we have pajamas. So sleepers and just pajamas in general. So again, size 18 months and size 24 months. He definitely does not fit in 18 months anymore. That's the one thing I've noticed with him is he's really long. Um, he's really tall. 
So sleepers are the first thing he outgrows in a certain size. So he hasn't fit in those for a while, but because I have 18 months, like other 18 months stuff, I just haven't pulled those out yet to put them away. As he's been getting older, we've kind of steered away from sleepers and more towards like two piece pajamas. A good tip, my mother-in-law actually showed this to me for folding pajamas, because I wasn't sure how to fold two pieces, is you fold the shirt inside of the pants. So here's the pants, here's the shirt, and you fold it in there. That way it's all still like one little bundle instead of two pieces. I thought that was a pretty good tip. And then the bottom drawer here is just blankets. So we have extra crib sheets right there. Sleep sacks are in this little container right here. And then these are all swaddle blankets. So that's pretty much the dresser. And then in his closet, so the first thing you'll see is these little, well, they're not little, they're actually humongous, <laughs> teal or mint green tubs. So this is where I store old clothes. So clothes that he's outgrown or like future clothes. I am a planner and I buy things way in advance. I have a tub of 3T and then I also have a tub of 4T in there too. So of course those will not be worn for quite a while, but anytime I see stuff on sale, I will grab it because baby clothes can get expensive, toddler clothes can get really expensive. So I keep an eye out for clothes. I like to shop clearance racks at Target and Gap and things like that. You can see here's 2T. The lid is off because I keep dipping into it for certain things. They're already washed and folded and ready to go. I just need to take size 18 months out and kind of shift everything over. Over here are our hang-up clothes. So I have these little dividers that I got from... I actually don't know, maybe Bye Bye Baby, I'm honestly not too sure, that you can put the month or the, the size on right there. I have things kind of sectioned off here. So here I have a couple of 18 months stuff still hanging. I've kind of slowly been putting those in the tub just because the tub is right there. But he doesn't really fit any of this stuff anymore. It's just a matter of putting it all in the tub. This is 24 months stuff here. So you can see I have some hoodies i have this rain jacket we have like rompers and overalls right here you can see i have polo shirts here i feel like polos are just kind of hard to fold so that's why i have them hanging up and then i have more overalls here and then over here this starts size 2t so you can see i have sweaters hanging up here and then anything with the hood pretty much anything that's bulky or hard to fold i hang up i just find that that's easier oh and then extra shoes we have up there that's pretty much it that's our clothing organization. I like it. I've had it like this since he was born. I've always had two sizes in his drawers. I've had it organized the exact same way since he was born and it works for me. So we're going to keep doing it until it no longer works. Maybe that will be when we start switching over to the toddler size clothes. But for now, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.